What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and it's uh, it's been a little while since we've had a talk between the two of us, man. Um, I was sick for a little bit. I had a cough that was getting worse and worse by the day, but now I feel good enough to where I can actually talk for, you know, five seconds in a row and not have a horrible sounding cough that sounds like I got shot in the throat. Anyways, we are here to talk about the Nintendo Direct, the subject at hand that everyone has been putting out there. What is the status of it and how soon can we expect another one? Now, of course, information has come out that I haven't covered previously and it relates to the Nintendo Directs and if we can expect one this year or not and the thing is is that obviously the Directs were you know run by um, by Iwata they followed a specific format and losing him so suddenly without warning or maybe there was some people that knew that he would leave soon um, and they just didn't want to put it out there potentially because he was suffering from the same condition for a while now but um Anyways, that's not the point of this whole video. It happened unexpectedly for a lot of people in the company, so maybe their preparations weren't exactly there to, you know, put on for a new direct. Obviously, they have to make sure that it pays respect to him, but at the same time still brings the same level of hype and excitedness that he would, and that's a tough thing for Nintendo to do. I know they probably spent a lot of time trying to figure out what can we do to make the Nintendo Direct still be the Nintendo Direct without the soul of the Nintendo Direct there, you know? But I'm sure that they've come up with a solution. We know this. Nintendo's always been good at coming up with solutions, improvising. So we can expect a Nintendo Direct extremely soon. Now, apparently, a report is coming in from um, a couple of sources that I didn't cover previously uh, about Tatsumi, who is apparently saying that there is going to be a Direct for 2015 confirmed. They just don't have a solid date. Considering there's only two months left in 2000. This this. This year went by so fucking fast in my opinion. I don't know how you feel about it, but 2015 was a blur on me. But you know, maybe that's just me. Still, it's crazy to see that 2015 is almost at its end and we are going to get an Nintendo Direct confirmed before the year is over. So I mean, there's articles like this one from IGN and others that you most likely have seen on your own time or seen other people talk about it, that the Nintendo Direct is definitely coming back. Of course, exciting news. And it has to be sometime soon, or, because obviously November, December, there ain't, there can't really be that much left. So, how often would they do these Nintendo Directs? It would depend. They would sometimes have like surprise little Directs, like when they reveal Chibi Robo. But the timing itself never really has been set in stone too much. They seem like they would have one every two quarters. Maybe that's a reliable way to say it, or maybe one Direct every quarter. But we would have definitely gotten one by now if situation and circumstances had been normal. Still, I'm excited to see that Takos, um, excuse me, I, I gotta really work on his name, Tatsumi Kimishima. Um, I'm sorry if somehow you managed to watch that, I'm fucking up the way your name is said. I, I have to get used to, you know, thinking of his name and applying it to the person. And by the way, he looks like a serious son of a bitch, man. I mean, obviously, he won't be Iwata. And Iwata was special in the sense that he was very hands-on with Nintendo's projects. And he would always have his face everywhere, so people got really familiar with him. And of course, became addicted to his fun, lovable personality. And I don't know, I mean, Tatsumi doesn't really have to fill those boots, of course. That's not his responsibility to be Iwata, because of course he's gonna be Tatsumi Kimishima, not Satoru Iwata, but still. I'm really hoping that he does take somewhat of a similar approach at least and maybe try to be a little hands-on more with Nintendo because I mean the CEO before Iwata I can't even remember his how to say his name Yamauchi Yama, Yamauchi uh, Hiroshi Yamauchi he wasn't exactly that way he still loved gaming with a passion but he didn't really have his face in the public eye the way Iwata did so I mean all in all, I just want to make sure that Nintendo stays the extremely fun, approachable company that it always has been. And Tatsumi, he seems like a real stone-faced kind of guy, but that doesn't mean anything when it comes to what's inside of the heart. That's the most important thing that matters. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm fucking worried about Nintendo's future or whatever, but I do hope that it continues to move forward with that same level of warmth that it always has, you know, and especially considering their transition to online, social media, and um, digital presentations, they need to have more of a heart, a human side. So Tatsumi fully understands this in the position that he's in, and most likely they'll implement this some way or fashion in the Nintendo Directs. They gotta have these warm characters in there. Um, of course, we still got Big Bill, and I don't even have to mention my nigga Reggie Fisa, May, the Fisa mech is in the house, but 
you know, I mean, will it feel weird without Iwata there? Of course it will. They won't ever be able to replace Iwata, but I mean, at the same time, the Direct still has a very good chance of being an enjoyable show in the future, and I just want to make sure that no people have any doubts about that. I don't have any doubts. I'm just bringing it up because obviously I'm talking to a couple of people out there who may just have that feeling. I just want to make sure you don't. Um, but yes, we are getting a Direct in 2015. Once again, I've been beating this horse the entire video, there is no need to worry, a lot of people were concerned, and of course I'm concerned too because there's a lot of games that I'm looking forward to for next year, but we didn't really get too much confirmation in terms of any new games and whatnot, and you know, I would love to see some new IPs hitting the table along with some newly announced games, and of course the NX is big on the goddamn hit list right now, man. So much news has been coming about this Nintendo NX, and it's been so mysterious to us still, even though little tidbits of information have been happening for the Wall Street journal and from other sources i'm super amped to see what nintendo nx brings especially that statement that um as you that that statement that um shigeru miyamoto made about how nintendo will more forcefully or I, I can't remember the exact words but they'll basically take advantage of their ips more for the nx than ever before dude there's a lot of games that they got to make sure they apply that logic to man we didn't get no metroid on the wii u we ain't get no motherfucking f-zero on the wii u and there's plenty of other games as well too that people have been desiring um zelda for instance <laughs> 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 there's that fucking cough I <coughs> there's that fucking cough i told you about don't worry, it's only one per video now, I'm good. But um, there's so many games for the NX that, that just need to be followed up with. Um, I'm super excited for it. So obviously, this Direct won't address anything NX related because Nintendo made it specifically clear we are not talking about the Nintendo NX until 2016. So until then, you can play with your dicks if you want to. That's what I've been doing. I've been playing with my dick with the NX in mind ever since I heard that. Um, other games that I'm also excited for too, man. You gotta, you got, you gotta acknowledge the obvious. I mean, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Even though I didn't play Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one, my girlfriend is playing through it right now. She's almost finished. She got to the part where Metal Face is actually inside. Um. All right, I probably shouldn't mention that. Spoilers all day. But even though I haven't been playing it, I've been watching her play it. And God Almighty, that game is. Yeah, you guys are right. Story, one of the most dynamic I've ever seen in an RPG. Hands down, period. I thought Tales of Symphonia was epic. God damn, Xenoblade, man. And Fiora! Fiora! Oh, anyways, um, let's move on. Another game I'm super amped for that I didn't play the precursor to, Project X Zone 2. A big title, in my opinion, has a lot of characters in it from different series. I didn't even know about the first game's existence too much. I remember when they announced it, however. Um, I really want to get into that game. Um, another mobile game, of course, Fire Emblem Fates. I didn't finish the precursor game to that, but I will be this month in November. I actually will be doing a stream for Fire Emblem Awakening right after this video, so check me out. Um, Another game I'm super excited for, one that a lot of you guys may not be aware of, Fast Racing Neo. I talked about this game so many times before, about how they have a hero mode, its similarities to F-Zero. If you haven't seen Fast Racing Neo yet, then you have to get on the ball with that game. Um, these are all games that are not confirmed for like, you know, the NX, but they're confirmed for the Wii U. And there are still titles that make the Wii U seem all that more appealing. Um, Fast Racing Neo. I know I've gotten a lot of subscribers since I last did, you know, my regular video series, so I want to make sure that you guys are fully caught up to speed with what I'm anticipating and things like that. Fast Racing Neo is one of the most hyped games I have in mind for the Wii U this holiday season, and it comes out around that time too, so I mean, obviously, you need to get on this as well. I'll be playing it on stream. Um, another game that I'm super excited for is Star Fox Zero, which was confirmed to be pushed back to 2016, but still on the Wii U, not being moved to the NX, so we don't have to worry too much about that if you have a Wii U right now and you don't plan on buying an NX when it comes out. Star Fox Zero was delayed, sadly, but I can see it for obvious reasons. They want to amp the game up, bring it up to speed, and hopefully they can add an online multiplayer mode as well, too. And that's all the games I can really think of on my own accord right now. What are you hyped for that Nintendo has announced for the future that I didn't really re remember to mention in this video? Obviously, my gaming tastes are a little strange, so maybe the games that I listed aren't games that you're hyped for. But if we got a Nintendo Direct right now, which just bought to spotlight the games that need... And by the way, this game needs to be bought to spotlight, too. But I mean, if we had a Direct right now, which bought things to light in terms of um, games that we should be amped up for, 
new IPs potentially in the future and more annex information, although that won't happen if the Direct is in 2015, then that would just raise the levels of excitedness with Nintendo to a whole new prospect. And that's what we're all waiting for, man. The Direct's made and set that precursor for the rest of the year. And sure, the year's almost over now, holiday season, but obviously this Direct, anything that's Wii U and 3DS related, can highlight games that are coming out in 2016 for those two consoles, although I don't know what the NX is going to be able to mix in with them, so I, I, I'm confused on my own end, but whatever the case may be, let me know what you think about all this, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video. The NX, excuse me, the Direct is not dead. That shit is alive and well. It's probably going to be the most exciting Direct of all year since they've taken so long to work on it, so they're probably going to have a lot of content to stuff in that bitch because think about it. I mean, so many games that Nintendo's working on at once, with more time that the Direct is taking to present itself, that means more things they can look at in the Direct and say, hey, let's add this, let's fix this, let's modify this, let's amp this up. They got time to work on it, so it's going to be a Direct that's going to punch you in the fucking face, and that's what I can't wait for. I'll talk to you niggas in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.